Hormones are chemical messengers that are crucial for health as they help control many of the body's major processes, including metabolism and reproduction. Today I'm joined in studio by Dr. Mark Opperman to discuss testosterone's effect on health and some of the available solutions to supplement it. So Mark, welcome back. First of all, great to have you back on the couch. Thank you. It's always good to be here. I think we need to, as always, just recontextualize testosterone because I think for so many people out there, testosterone equals something that you take to build muscle and turn into a monstrous man. But that's really not um, uh, an important part of the bigger picture that we're looking at. Not at all. Well, first we need to establish that testosterone is a necessary hormone in both men and women. Absolutely. The only difference is that the quantities that men and women produce are different. Right. Testosterone in our teenage years play a role in sexual development. So in men, hair development, muscle development, lowering of the voice. And um, in women, it plays a role in establishing, uh, you know it, your female characteristics, etc., right. etc. It's when we move beyond this that testosterone, for me, as a practitioner, comes into its own. Um, Testosterone is necessary to maintain body composition. Right. It's responsible for cardiovascular health. It's responsible for strength, bone mass, etc., etc. There's beautiful studies that show us in both men and women that as testosterone decline, there's an increase in mortality. We're going to be talking a bit generally today around testosterone and some of the other aspects of it based on, on the, the information that you are learning all the time, which is really fascinating uh, in terms of overall health. Uh, so absolutely. Let's maybe give us a sense of some of the different avenues that we'll, we'll explore going forward. So one of the things that I think very few people know is the importance that testosterone plays on gut health right in both men and women this for me is um, a breakthrough and uh, you know what I, we we touched on this in our discussions about female testosterone replacement therapy and pain management but pain management pain and testosterone go hand in hand and then for me one of the things that i think is so incredibly important is testosterone and the role that it plays in mental health. Right, right. And I think what's so important to touch on, just to, to highlight, in fact, is these are things that are, we're all aware of them. We all deal with pain, mental issues, gut health. Absolutely. And, and we talk about them in, in relation to nutrition and exercise and things like that. But so seldom do we hear about them associated with testosterone. So maybe let's start with, with pain, because at this stage, that's one of my most intriguing aspects um, that you've raised. How does testosterone play a role in pain management in the body? So let me give you uh, how we got to pain and testosterone. Because testosterone is becoming more widely used, there were studies raised and um, questions asked about safety in testosterone and cardiovascular health. All right. And when they started looking into this, the FDA proposed that there need to be studies done on safety. And the doctors that deal with chronic pain started asking, is it healthy? And how do I treat my patient with pain relative to testosterone? And what we found was astounding. Firstly, testosterone is decreased by both the disease and by the use of pain medication, especially opioids. Right. So chronic pain or disease leads to a hyperstimulation of the brain adrenal axis. So the pituitary gland is incredibly involved in this. Now, by hyperstimulating this, you have a decrease in cortisol levels as well as testosterone levels. Okay. Interestingly enough, the pain medication itself leads to hypogonadism. So pain works on the brain which decreases the production of testosterone um, through your hypothalamus gonadal axis. And your pain medication, especially opioids, has a direct effect on your ovaries or your testicles. Interesting. And you know what? Lowering testosterone then is associated with an increase in pain. Okay. So the management of pain always has to ask the question, 
how does testosterone relate to pain? We know that it has a beneficial effect in opioid um, receptors by down-regulating the need for pain medication. Okay. It increases the effectivity of your opioid medication. And these are your codeines, morphines, pethidines, tramadols, et cetera, et cetera. Right, right. So now, interesting, we can pull this through into our gut. Gut health, where pain medication has a negative effect. Indeed, yes. Testosterone not only plays an important role in balancing this by increasing motility in your colon. Okay. So food, food moves through faster, healthier. It decreases the inflammatory effect uh, on the gut. Right. Um, so, you know, it, there's so many things. We know testosterone has a direct role in the reproduction and regeneration of neural tissue. Right. We spoke about it before when we were treating patients, especially women who presented with chronic pain. They've been to their rheumatologist, they've been to their endocrinologist, they're on um, disease altering medications like methotrexate, et cetera, et cetera. And when we started them on testosterone medication to balance their hormones, there was one of the first things that these pa patients would say to us, my pain is better. Mm -hmm. Now we know, the studies have proven that testosterone has a direct effect, not only on the immune system of the brain itself, but on the neural tissue where it regenerates neural tissue. It's so interesting listening to these three different elements that you've just discussed. So you've, you've spoken about the neural side, the brain, the gut, and pain. And we talk about the gut-brain axis and the Absolutely. second brain being your gut. Absolutely. And it just, it's incredible how this starts to fill in some of the puzzle pieces to say, okay, cool, here's a system. Again, with anything in the body, we, we talk of these systems. And here's another whole system which has never really been associated in no. many people's minds with no. testosterone. You know what, Michael? Um, you so light re rightly said that when we think about testosterone, we think of Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah. or your gym bunnies. These guys walk in and they say they feel awesome. Yes, their testosterone levels are too high and it throws out the balance. And that's what we deal with at my clinic. Being a specialist clinic where we deal with balancing of systems what we our patients don't realize is that it's not one system mm -hmm. and it's not just one um, organ like you so rightly said you know it your brain gut connection we evolved from a gut we were a single celled mm -hmm. organism which was basically just one gut and everything evolved from that for me one of the most important organs in the body actually is the kidneys Right. The kidneys is responsible for changing blood composition, and it's that that stimulates the different organs to do what okay. they do. Right, right. So if you think about having a healthy gut and what that can do on pain, chronic pain leads to fatigue. Right. Fatigue leads to depression, anxiety. So, you know, it, we, we've known that testosterone for instance, has a beneficial effect on patients with depression and anxiety, mm. but we didn't understand why. And when you start placing all these little puzzle pieces together, you know what, finally, we are starting to see the box where we can actually discern what the picture is. Right. And no longer are we building a puzzle with blank pieces. Okay, okay. Now, Mark, I have to ask this question because you've been a, a practitioner in terms of uh, testosterone therapy and things like that for, for some time. But every time we talk, there's so much new information that's coming out. And I, I just need to ask the question of like, where is this information coming from? Is it experience out there in the field? Because it, it's, it's just so fascinating how, how much deeper this seems to be going, where you've got lots of positive results from testosterone therapy, but now the more we understand these connections, the more it seems to open up the field as a, as a, a, a medical practice. You know what, Michael, it's interesting. In the last decade, the number of testosterone prescriptions have skyrocketed. There's an exponential uh, increase in the use of testosterone right. prescriptions for 
mobility to keep people moving, right. muscle. We know that patients who are older that have adequate levels or are on testosterone therapy have an increase in lean muscle mass, right. so it makes them stronger. It has a very beneficial effect, as we have said, on the brain and co cardiovascular health. Yes. But with this increase, there's more and more people that are actually going to do studies. So the information that we are getting is not just anecdotal or observational. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's actual scientific studies and it's um, published in reputable medical um, journals. Most of these studies and the ones that I po um, pay the most attention to are peer review or consensus studies okay. where they take the available information and they do an uh, unbiased analysis of all the information. When we do a study, you have a hypothesis. I either want to prove or disprove my right. hypothesis. So there's always a bit of bias. When you look at these big studies that they take and when they put them all together, that's where we get all this information. And that's why there's so many new things that's happening with testosterone. Absolutely. To me, in my personal opinion, you know, it, it is something that has great benefit mm. if used responsibly in a specialist environment. Absolutely. Now, Mark, you run a clinic um, that's that's dedicated to testosterone. It's called the T-Clinic. Tell us if people want to find out more, want to get hold of you, a consultation. How do they get around to you? You know what? The easiest is go and look for us online. We at the T-Clinic, as it is, capital T-Clinic, okay. and you will find us. We Based in Bryanston, we have a branch in um, Umschlange. Uh, I see patients all over the world, uh, telephonic consultations with right. COVID, that's, that's one Absolutely. of the biggest ways that we consult. And get hold of us, 010-824-1393. Very easy. Wonderful. Mark, thank you so much. Great discussion. And I'm really looking forward to more discussions this season that are coming up later on. You know what? I'm looking forward to discuss mental health. Great. Have Lovely a great to have you day. here. Thanks. Thanks, Mark. Mm -hmm.